the academy staff were putting on a coaches collaboration evening um, directed at local community grassroots coaches. Um, first of all, to try and develop better relationships uh, and try and work more with the community and the coaches. Um, again, to try and get um, more collaboration about what we're trying to do. Um, and it's an opportunity to, to show what we do at the academy, um, what we believe in, uh, and again, how that can potentially be passed on through down to the, to the local coaches in the area. All of us as coaches, all the coaches who now work at the academy, well, we all started our journey off working in the grassroots um, scheme. Um, and again, it's all it's important that we that we don't forget our roots and also the players that we're now working with. All of those players at some stage have played grassroots football, who are now coming on to to play county football. So it's also giving something back and also rewarding the coaches that they are doing a really good job of what they're doing. Um, and again, there's no right or wrong way what we do, what we, we believe in what we do, but we're always trying to find different ways of improving. But again, it's really important that we that we do work together as much as we can. The doors are always open. We're not going to hide anything we try and do. We're always trying to learn ourselves, but if we can try and help coaches around us improve, then yeah, it'll be worthwhile, hopefully. Uh, we're going to spend um, 45 minutes to an hour inside the classroom. Just obviously welcome and greeting, um, show a little bit about our programme, what we do, um, our coaching content, a little bit about our culture, how we coach. Uh, then we're going to frame some sessions inside and then we're going to go outside on the grass, deliver some practices, come back inside and then it's going to be a case of reviewing and reflecting. Opportunity for the coaches to ask questions, to challenge us, a chance for us to look at what we've done well, how we can improve for next time, but again how we can differentiate it across all abilities in the game. Yeah, ideally, again, tonight is the first of many, hopefully. Um, tonight's focus will be on the the, out the in-possession principles uh, for the outfield players. Uh, the plan, hopefully, going forwards will be to do a similar event, but looking at the goalkeeping, where our, our head of academy goalkeeping, Phil Smart, will also deliver. But yeah, if we can try and do two or threes, two or three of these a season, uh, that'd be great. But it all depends how tonight goes, so hopefully we can have a good evening. I think as a grassroots coach, um, I was interested in getting access to elite level football. I know not everybody can do that. So to come along and see how you know, my local professional club do things was really interesting to me. I took quite a lot of um, interesting points away from it, the way that they do things, why they do things, um, how they do things. And hopefully I can take that back into my grassroots football and pass it on to the kids and, and maybe boost the level of coaching that I'm, I'm giving them and improve them a little bit more. So there's only Shrewsbury really in the county of Shropshire that, that, that play at such a high level. And to reach out to the local community, I think for the first time, um, hopefully it will benefit the club and, and the grassroots coaches. It's, I think it's really important. Uh, just come along, you're not going to feel out of place. So it was really warm and friendly. Um, we were made to feel welcome right from the beginning. Um, I must admit, I, I thought, you know, I was going to go along and feel out of my depth, and that just, just wasn't the case at all. And I think they, they welcomed our feedback as, as well as telling us what they wanted from Shrewsbury, what they, what they wanted from their elite players. They were interested in what grassroots coaches thought of, of, of the way that they were coaching and why they were asking for those things. I think the format was really, really good to, to have the information up front, then to witness it in action, and then afterwards to be able to have one-to-one like, -one access with those coaches and ask them questions, I think was fabulous.